given how much time I've spent traveling around the Commonwealth of Virginia, while there are some on the other side who will rattle off all these statistics about how um, our economy's never been better and we're growing, but here's the deal. The, stati the statistics actually don't lie. I've been all over Southwest Virginia, all over Hampton Roads, all over Northern Virginia. If you talk to real people who are small business owners, people like me, for whom healthcare costs are going up higher in my small business than anything other than payroll. Um, if you talk to folks about the regulatory environment, about folks who want to engage in economic development and the issues that they deal with VDOT, my answer is no. I think there is much that we could be doing to improve the climate. And a really significant point made by a business person who's been advocating for you know, us to make all these changes in Virginia to help us, a really smart business guy who knows that things are actually getting worse, said something, and I can't take credit for it, but I use it all the time. And that is that people and businesses are like geese. They will migrate to where the economic climate, the business climate, the tax climate, and the regulatory climate are better. And so right now, we are in a situation where we have for too long rested on our laurels. Virginia was number one for so long. Best place to raise a family, best place to be an entrepreneur, entrepreneur best place to start a business, best place to raise a child. We're not anymore. And now, and I think that very few people actually appreciate how much things have changed in Virginia. We're now 33rd in the country when it comes to tax climate. We're Virginia, and in terms of a good tax environment for business, we're behind Kentucky, we're behind Tennessee, and we're behind North Carolina. So what does that mean? It means people will leave, and if you're starting a business and you have limited resources, you're gonna go to the community where it makes the most sense to start your business. People are rational economic actors. And as much as I love my beloved Virginia, if I, was, if I was starting a business right now and I had to make those decisions, of course I would make them based on raw data. And as somebody who has introduced legislation repeatedly on tax reform, I introduced legislation last year that would effectively mimic what North Carolina has done, let us buy down our business tax, because they've gone from 6% to 3% and they're about to get to zero. Um, my, my legislation would have allowed us to do that. I support um, the top of the ticket on my side, Ed Gillespie, who has a great plan for tax reform. Um, if you actually tax less, regulate less, you will incentivize people to stay. That will pump an enormous amount back into our economy. And on the other side, then bring more revenue into Virginia. In addition to tax reform bills, I've also been relentless when it comes to regulatory reform. I used to be the Deputy General Counsel at the Department of Energy under the Bush administration. And I presided over DOE at a big time when we were doing a big regulatory review. And as a long, young lawyer, I can think of nothing that was a better education than to have this chance to see what a terrible regulatory environment does to business. And it doesn't just hurt business, it kills consumers. So for that year of my life, I was looking at new regs passed by the Clinton administration at the 11th hour on ceiling fans and hair dryers and dishwashers and washing machines. Some well intended, but many with really devastating economic impacts. I worked with other agencies, I worked with EPA, and as a practical matter, if you strip all the partisanship away, you take out all the rhetoric, my number one obligation to Virginia, as a state senator now who's been in the Senate for 10 years and as somebody who wishes to be the Lieutenant Governor and take these issues to a statewide platform, my number one goal is to make Virginia a well-managed state and to create a tax climate and a regulatory climate that is consistent with that goal. We're not headed that way right now. If you look at the, the accumulation of regs on top of regs on top of regs, both at the local level and the state level, it's killing us. It's absolutely killing us. And so I can take a lot of that experience from that regulatory review and apply that to Virginia, which I am desperate to do. In fact, I introduced legislation last year that would have allowed for a big regulatory rollback. Um, I believe that our best economic days are ahead of us if, and that's a big if, if we agree to innovate and to be aggressive and to make efforts to modernize Virginia the way our competitor states have done. Because all you have to do is look around and see what they've done. More competitive in agriculture. I've introduced legislation on hemp to free up ag markets. I mean, it's really simple. So that's my probably too long answer to your very short question. But there's, that, there's so much that needs to be unpacked in that question that is so important to business in Virginia.